Video Blocks is a strange one. It's a service that's not really trusted by people. And I'm not absolutely sure why. I think it's probably a combination of uh, three main things. Firstly, they offer something for a much lower price than people would probably expect to pay from it from many other sources. It's cheap, but is that actually doing it any kind of favours? Well, people perceive that it's potentially poor quality, there must be something wrong with it, so they don't have that much trust in it. That's just kind of how people work, you know, that you're not going to change that. Secondly, the way they market their product is possibly a bit aggressive. They come in, they send, they, they give people offers of like 50% off. I've seen offers of 90% off, advertised at 90%. And again, that doesn't really give people much faith in the in the product because people always think if you can offer 90% off a product, you're either completely ripping me off in the first place or it's just not that good a service and it should be cheaper and therefore you're giving it me at this cheap price. The third problem is that most people, when they do get something that's cheaper than everything else, expect it to be as good as the thing that's more expensive. And that's a big that's a big issue for video blocks because they're they're offering you this service and then people join it and then they complain openly on forums and on you know outlets on social media about the service, which then means that when new people come along and they ask the same question, is this a dodgy service, they get videos like this coming up where they get me sort of ranting on about video blocks or they get someone else giving their personal experience saying, oh, it's not what I expected. You can't do this and you can't do that. Guess what? No, you can't. It's a hundred pounds or it's a 200 pound service for a year of as much content as you want. Do some research before you pay for it and don't just go out and complain. Now, customer support's a different issue. I can't ever say that a company is good if they give bad customer support. Cus as far as I'm concerned, companies should always give good customer support. And I have seen some stuff out there saying, well, it took someone rages for me to get back in contact. I was trying to get a refund and it didn't happen and that type of thing. But, you know, that happens with all sorts of companies. The company I work for, we get people complaining online when they haven't had refunds or they haven't managed to, you know, there's when you have a big customer base, there's always going to be unhappy people and they're going to be the people that complain. It's always the way. But with video blocks, they're the main sort of areas, I think, that make people not trust it. So what is it? Well, it's a video stock footage service. So if I go to the website now, what you'll notice <laughs> is that the first thing that comes up today, you know, I don't know why this is, is a warning from my antivirus about track.videoblocks.io and I think this is to do with uh, possibly to do with a tracker dra JavaScript that's in their code because I know that their certificate, their SSL certificate is good. That's up to date. It's saying that this expired. Uh, so don't give me any, deta any more details on this. I don't think so. If I look at this certificate here, it actually expired on the 19th of January 2017. So that's not a good start because if someone's questioning how good video blocks is and this comes up it's well it's, it's just bad isn't it so i'm going to allow that in this instance and i do have an account with them so on the front page here this is our area that sort of gives us an idea of the kind of footage we can look for and it's broken really into genres or categories like this you know you've got nice sort of slow motion footage you can search for stuff with technology which is a lot of it's kind of green screen so you can put your own footage on top of it you've got effects lower thirds um, and then you know aerial stuff it's all sorts really that you can get but what i would say is that if you have a project that's very specific video blocks is not going to do you any favors because really at that stage all it does is become an outlet for you to purchase other footage. And this is another area where I think people get confused. So we have the ability to download After Effects templates. From what I've seen of these so far, they are fairly bad compared to templates that are available from um, Envato or Template Monster. 
you can download backgrounds and these are great you know if, if you're just after some ba abstract sort of backgrounds to use in a video they're a little bit tacky at times those type of things a little bit overdone but if you do need that there's plenty available and they're very good quality and the footage again if you are just after a footage of someone landing on the moon you know historical stuff archive stuff and general very generic stuff it's great so let's take a look for something Let's say I want, let's say go back to the moon and say I want the moon. I want the moon. Then we get all sorts of stuff that we can download. What you notice is that immediately we have a members only content checkbox. And this is one of the key annoyances about video blocks. It is disabled by default and it resets to disabled every time and the reason they do that is because they want to push the content that's for sale and not just the content that's for download so you can see the ones that have the hexagon here are the ones that i am actually able to download the rest of these so all of these here is footage that i need to pay for separately and this comes back to what people perceive the product to be they look at this and they sign up and then they say oh all the good stuff is you've got to pay for and it's only the rubbish stuff that you can actually download well to some extent that's probably true because that's what their business model is here they are allowing people to contribute video and contribute footage and stock video that can be sold and then they give that money to the people who contribute the footage at a, at a sort of fairly competitive rate and it's really just a distribution service for stock footage the free footage that you get with the service is usually the kind of stock footage that doesn't really have value for a customer producing a true project for a client for a business if you're going to use stock footage it's got to save you money it's got to save you going to shoot on location. It's got to just add some kind of value and save money in the process. No one can visit the moon just on the job of the job, job of a hat. So really, stock footage of the moon, it just comes down to what stuff is the nicest and what stuff they decide sort of looks the best and is probably going to sell versus stuff that doesn't look as good. But if we look for something specific, so one of the first things I looked for was where I live. So if I look up, um, if I look at Bristol, well, what you'll notice is that none of this is member footage. If I select the members only content, no results whatsoever. And the reason for that is because if I'm doing a project on Bristol, this footage is going to save me money. I'm not going to have to travel to Bristol to film these balloons. I'm going to be able to use this footage. I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to have to travel to Bristol to, to 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 film the I think that's the music room. Um the music department the, the university music department there. I can use this footage. So this has real value to my to my business. And therefore they're not going to give this stuff for free because this is the stuff they can sell. So don't expect this service to provide this kind of thing. What it will provide is generic footage that you can use to just maybe show a bus. So yes, we've got a specific Bristol bus that's arriving here. It's driving off. Great. Someone might be able to use that because it's specific. But if we just look for a bus, it doesn't matter where it is. We've now got members-only content that we can download. So we've got people on a bus. We've got stuff because it doesn't, you know, as long as it doesn't matter where it is specifically, we can just demonstrate a point of like the fact that buses drive a certain way or there's, you know, we've got certain people chatting on a bus or whatever. They do the real sort of general stuff. But as soon as it becomes very specific, I think you get the idea. I'm kind of driving this home because it's so important. As soon as it becomes specific and as soon as it can add value, they will sell it to you. It will not be part of your content. But the service overall is okay. You know, the footage that you download is good because you can download it in, if I go into this video, you can download it. Usually it's provided in MJPEG 
or MP4. Of course, most people who are going to use this are going to download the MJPEG, probably perceiving it to be better quality. Whether they just encode it in these two formats, I don't know, because uh, you can contribute content in multiple formats, lots of formats, but I've only ever seen it distributed in these two formats. So if someone does contribute as an MP4, and it's just re-encoded into you know, MJPEG, then of course there's no quality to be gained, apart from the fact that you can use it more easily within your timeline. Similar clips, again, is a little bit of an annoyance because I've gone to a clip that I can download, but of course the similar clips that I'm offered are all purchasable clips. That's really irritating because if I'm a user, I really want to have the option to be able to disable the members only sort of option. So if I go to footage, if I do another search here and I'm looking for I'm looking for a rivers, I'll look for a rivers rivers again. I did that on my audio blocks discussion. And I look for members only. Well I've got plenty of lots of footage of rivers. It's fine. I've got lots that I can use. But I don't want to have to click this every single time. I don't want to be presented first off with all this footage, which is great, by the way, but I have to pay for it. Oh, there's one members only down here. I want to have the option to remove that and only show me members only content, but they won't do that. Because again, I stress that's not what their business model is as far as I can work out. It is to allow contributors to make money by them selling the stock footage through video blocks at a competitive rate. So I can buy this stuff, but it's at a really good rate. I click on one of these now and just see what sort of price I can get this for. Does it tell me what price, what price I'd have to pay for this? Um, let me add it to my car. So $49 for, for that footage. Wow. <clears throat> good grief, that's expensive. <laughs> I say that's cheap. Look, it's a very short, short bit of footage, short bit of slow mo footage, and it's really poor quality because it's clearly done with a camera that upscales to um, to do it slow mo. <laughs> okay, great. I'm not really selling this, am I? Right. You can also save directly to Dropbox, which is nice uh, if you because the files are quite big, so you can come back to them later. Uh, if you upgrade to the premium version, you can download 4K footage and you can also add multiple users to an account. So you could add sort of a, a, up to five people to manage your account and also be able to browse and download things. So that's really good too. Overall, I would say for the money, the service is great. It should maybe advertise better what it's supposed to be because that would be less confusing for people. But when you really kind of realize what this service is, it's pretty good for the money. You know, you're paying a hundred, maybe a hundred dollars a year if you get it in a, if you get it in a deal, and you're able to download all that footage that you can just chuck together and use in videos. You get people on YouTube using this all the time, and you get a lot of people, like with audio blocks, advertising it all the time and saying, "Isn't it the most amazing thing in the world?" Well, here you go. This is what I think about it, and I'm not sponsored by them, so I can say what the heck I like about this service. So I hope that's useful to you. If you've got any questions on it, let me know. If you'd like to take, you know, if you'd like me to show you any specific stuff in here or, you know, if you want to take a look at a clip or something, then let me know. Um, it's, it's, uh, we can take, we can go into a little bit more detail, but I think I've covered the main points that I wanted to make here. So thanks for watching and thanks for bearing with me waffling on about this. That's video blocks. <laughs>